In this new world video, we're going to take a look at the armor and weapon perks for the greatsword. So this is all the armor perks and weapon perks that can actually roll on the armor. So let's take a look. The first one is, is for the leeching crosscut ability. This one will give you the final strike of crosscuts, will heal you for 115% of weapon damage dealt. So pretty good, this is if it is on the greatsword itself, so the weapon, and it will only heal you for 78% if it is on your armor, still pretty good as well, and it can only trigger off one I believe, limit, limit one trigger per ability use, so only one person I believe, but that's still a lot of damage, especially if it's on your greatsword, healing for 115% of damage that's a lot of damage and as you know if you're on the in the onslaught tree you can do a lot more damage if you hit that last one so let's go into the next one relentless freedom activating relentless rust removes roots and slows also increase critical hit chance by 38 percent this is if it is on your weapon but if it's on your armor, it's only 24%. I think this one is better on your armor. You mainly want to remove the roots and the slows, I guess, to get away. Or maybe you're just stuck and you want to do damage. Get screamed. This one is pretty good. I think this one is almost a must-have, as well as leeching cross cut. But relentless freedom. Really good as well, at least for me. Now, Skyward Frost Nullification. Hitting a foe with Skyward Slash removes one of their buffs. Remaining buffs have their duration reduced by 29%. So you'll remove their Empower or anything else like that, their Fortification. And then on the Armor, it's only 20%. So I guess, I don't think I will take this on my Greatsword, just on the Armor. Only a 9% difference, but still... I guess removing buffs are pretty good since a lot of people will get that fortification buff now, shaking fortification. If you remove that, they'll probably die a bit more quickly, almost like a rent, but you just remove it. Let's move on to the next one energizing counter. When calamity counter is activated, immediately gain 57 stamina. Pretty good. That's a couple of dodges if you're in uh, medium. So really good. Medium uses about 30 stamina, I believe. They're about, so that's about almost two dodges. But when it's on your armor, it's only 39 stamina. So only one dodge that you get back. But really good. I'll probably have it on my armor if I have to. Since I believe cross cuts, the leeching cross cuts is just better. Let's move on to the next one. Slowing rupture. Now this one can also roll on the sword and armor, of course. Foes struck with Roaring Rupture are slowed by 43% for 5 seconds. Actually a really good one, almost a 50% slow. And only 29% slow if it's on your armor. I believe this one can be pretty good, especially if you're in clumps. And you want to slow them a bit, so they can't escape. But um, I'm not sure if I would rather have it on armor or on the weapon. But either way, a slow is always really good. People are quite evasive with the light dodge roll. So always good to give them a little bit of a slow. And the last one, Steadfast Purification. Each attack of Steadfast Strikes reduce debuff duration on you by 29%. Makes one duration per attack. So you remove things from you. I don't think this one is too useful. We even see with Invigorated. Not a lot of people take it. Even though you can get like a 50% reduction I believe. When you have a full armor set. But I don't believe this one will be mandatory. So not the best perk. I guess it's just there if you want it. But I'll probably won't be taking this one. This was just a quick look. At the armor and weapon perks for the greatsword. If you like this video give this video a like. And if you want to see more videos from me, remember to subscribe.